हरे कृष्ण नो वेन टू डाउट एंड वेन टू गिव द बेनिफिट ऑफ डाउट इन क्रिकेट से वेन अ बैट्समैन इज वेरी क्लोज टू द टू द क्रीज एंड इज अबाउट टू बी डिक्लेयर रन आउट और नॉट आउट एट दैट टाइम इफ द Uh, the the umpire is not able to decide. Then the decision goes to the third umpire, and when the decision goes to the third umpire, at that time, generally, if the it's not clear from the various angles, the batsman bat is it in the, actually in the crease or not in the crease. At that time, when things are not clear, there is a concept of giving the benefit of doubt. That means if someone seems to be inside and is not clear whether they are really inside or not. then the third umpire gives a decision based on the benefit of doubt okay this batsman is saying i actually i reached and this batsman has a track record of being honest he is not a person who just uh, screw who screws around the facts just for one's own benefit then the bat, they may give a benefit of doubt to a particular player it's not that it's conclusively decided this is right or this is wrong but it is tentatively decided based on the circumstances so the point is the benefit of doubt is a concept that is important uh, in our day to day life also because whenever we interact with others sometimes others will behave in a way that inspires us that attracts us uh, that enlivens us sometimes others may behave in a very odd way suspicious way and if we start taking every single thing that others are doing in a in a judgmental negative way then we will not be able to have any meaningful relationship with them so in the bhagavad gita in the 16th chapter for krishna talks about the qualities of the godly <coughs> so there he says 16.1 is abhayam sattva samshuddhi gyana yoga vyavasthiti danam damascha yagyasya swadhyaya staparjavam and 16.2 is ahimsa satyam akrodha tyagah shantir paishunam daya bhuteshva lokam mardavam rira chapalam so here in 6.2 Krishna says one characteristic of the godly is a paishunam. A paishunam means aversion to fault finding. That the godly people don't like to find faults in others. So when there are faults, it's not that doesn't mean that they are blind to the faults, but they don't get any pleasure in finding faults with others. And this is an important characteristic of a uh, uh, for that we need to develop if we want to become godly, if we want to become spiritual. So. when somebody seems to be behaving in maybe in an odd way we should know that everybody goes through their moods everybody has their own inner issues everybody is carrying burdens that we can't see and therefore rather than judging them based on just one uh, one incident or just one or two incidents and labeling them you are like this you are like that or we can actually be more mature and give people the benefit of doubt if somebody has been consistently behaving in a particular way say behaving in a honorable way behaving in a committed way behaving in a responsible way and once in a while they somehow come up and behave in odd way at that time immediately we start doubting and casting aspersions on their commitment or their character then that can ruin the relationship and that can dishearten the person and we may lose a valuable friend or aid because of that so in the we need to give the benefit of doubt we don't know what burden others are carrying we don't know what issues they are confronting we don't know how their mind is behaving so give them the benefit of doubt and by thus giving the benefit of doubt we will see that if we give others the benefit of doubt they too will give us the benefit of doubt and our spiritual understanding helps us makes it easier for us to give the benefit of doubt to others because we understand that actually they are also souls and they are also eternally parts of krishna and they also have the potential to become pure just as we are struggling with our condition they too are struggling but just as there are we have potential to become pure so so to do they and by focusing on their potential not on their problems we can actually help bring out the best within them thank you hare krishna